you, you think I'm kidding though? There is no way out of this. It's like uh, mm. how many right wingers are like, oh well, here's a, a painting of some 18th century figure that you've never heard of. Oh, mm. that's me. You know, it's just yeah. sort of like there is no way out of it, really. Yes, everything is a, a representation of yourself. Liberated. They had become increasingly dependent for their identity on business. The corporations had realized that it was in their interests to encourage people to feel that they were unique individuals and then offer them ways to express that individuality. A world in which people felt they were rebelling against conformity was not a threat to business, but its greatest opportunity. Yes. Mm. It was innocent. This is a this is a banger, by the way, Simon. This one, yeah. this particular episode. It's the triumph yeah. of the self. It was the triumph of a certain self. In can, can I just say this character Robert Reich is yeah. currently on Twitter, and he is one of the worst. He's awful. He is one of the worst Twitter accounts going. This guy. And here's, here's an interesting fact about him. Go away and I mean, he appears in the next uh, series. I think the Power of Nightmares as well. Go away and, and look at pictures of him um, standing next to other people. He's four foot ten. <laughs> is he I'm really? Not, I'm, not, I'm not doing an Ed Dutton on you here. He, he's literally four foot ten. He's got some sort of um, growth dysplasia condition, which means he is a little manlet. And if you see him, there's pictures of him with Clinton. He's tiny. So that's why he's such a toxic and poisonous dwarf. I see. Literally. Indulgence, a view that everything in the world and all moral judgment was appropriately viewed through the lens of personal satisfaction. Indeed, the ultimate ending point of that logic is that there is no society. There is only a bunch of individual people uh, making individual choices to promote their own individual well-being. <laughs> Well, well, that was fantastic. Uh, one of the yeah. best Curtises we've watched, I would say. Uh, yeah. Probably, that, probably the best one in this series so far as well. I would say that suffocating quality you alluded to there—it's very interesting. I mean, from from the left critique, you know, going back to to Mark Fisher when I mentioned him, that's the state of what he calls capitalist realism. There is no alternative to the system, and it's the the embedded belief that there is no alternative to the system that feels so crushing. Well, you see, my 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 settlement on this is is to to simply say that people are peasants, Simon. Mm. Peasant and the peasantry want conformity, habit, routine, and mm. actually to say that they don't really want this radical individuality. What they want is a sense of belonging, right? Yeah, and. This is something that people who've been brought up in Boomer Truth and all of this, all of these values we've been looking at, instinctively react against because they want to say, well, who are you calling a peasant type thing? That's their kind of automatic reaction. Mm. But it's actually to come to terms with the fact that really people are bovine herd creatures, that mm. the, the, they, they do want to be the crowd. They do want to be the cattle, ultimately. Yeah. Um, and to make peace with this fact and uh, and also to come to peace with the fact that I'll just be the loner in the village. You know, I'll, I'll just be the guy who, you know, is slightly outside of it. But I kind of want it to exist, if that makes any sense. Mm. I want the I want the crowd singing in the singing Oasis in the pub um, or, and, and watching their carry on movies. Right. Yeah. And and to be and to aspire to nothing more than that. Yeah. And that's yeah. fine. Right, yeah. um, and, and I and I and I, I, I do think the um, the element of this that maybe Curtis didn't touch on is the mm. aspirational aspect of it all. Mm. It, it's always this, you know, the self actualization. You're trying to aspire to be more than what you are. Yeah, and, and, and in a way, I mean, it's kind of British, you know, quite British in a way, just to say, actually, no, people want to be what they are. Like people yeah. just are happy to be what they are and nothing more. I'm happy with my limited horizon. It, it, exactly. And that's fine. So, and that's and fine. this is a big readjustment process for me because mm. I'm, you know, the sort of person who would have gone to a barber shop and listened to the kind of facile, you know, uh, celebrity gossip chat. Oh, where are you going on your holiday then? Type 
nonsense that gets talked, mm. you know, in the typical hairdresser, and um, and to be somewhat sniffy about it, right? Uh, whereas now I'm like, well, actually, maybe that that's fine. Just just let yeah. them be that and nothing else, yeah. and maybe even go further. Don't teach them to read. Yeah. Don't don't send them to, <laughs> don't send them to university. <laughs> Yeah, let, but it, let them just be who they are, you know. And, and 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 it's okay to have that rootedness, you know. This is a, in a sense, it's it, in the middle of this period that we're watching this documentary today. You know, the mid '80s. You know, what what are people? You know, like you've got a song, the Pet Shop Boys, West End Girls, right? What are they singing? Yeah. We've got no future. We've got no past. Here today, built to last in every city and every nation, from Lake Geneva to the Finland Station. You know, it's you know, there's nothing there. And yet it's it's eternal, like I said, the, the Black Horse said. It's the eternized now and this well, moment of con infinite consumption. What well, One of the most radical things in Spengler is his realization that the peasant it, who lives as a kind of plant life, okay, also has no real sense of history and lives in the perpetual present, mm. okay? In a perfectly, I mean, what the Austrian economists would say, it's it's an evenly rotating economy where nothing ever really changes and everything is more or less perfectly predictable, right? Mm. Um, and I think that peasantry, by which I mean most people, instinctively want to go back to that whatever it is, right? And and the perfectly predictable routine. Okay, it could be the old peasant life of uh, of um, you know the, the cycle. The cycles and working as a as a um you mm. know armor right just trying mm. to make ends meet type thing mm. um or it could be a housewife sitting and watching her favorite soap extenders over and over and over again where mm. nothing really changes and it's 20 years later and it's still fucking alfie moon and uh yeah. cat, cat slater shagging about or whatever else yeah. you know yeah um, it's your it's your lbc caller talking about i just want the news to be about what was he saying about gardening or plumbing or something? Yeah, like I just that. want the news to be about gardening or plumbing. Yeah. And I, I, I truly do believe that, that that is most people don't want much more than that. And that um, really the bourgeois, the middle class, the aspirational sorts, the self-directed types, blah, 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 should just let them be. Yeah. Fucking let, let them be, you know. Um, the, 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 the tragedy of our age and of the Blair era was the try as it was the pushing of everybody into this mode of trying to be a cognitive elite, basically. Yeah. Pushing everybody to live like a bourgeois, like in America, where they claim to have no class type thing. Everybody's aspirational. You know, and really that's that is unnatural to human life. Most human life is settled where people yeah. don't aspire to more. And 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 I know it's an an attractive message, but you have to make peace with it. I I think anyway.